I've been around and doing it, but now it's my time to shine and start proving it. I'm losing it, I'm moving it. The city is where I'm made, Bostonian flow. I kick it a back day, yeah, I got game. Got in a fan way, we the city of the champs. Every sport we play, it's been wetter than the harbor, yeah. I'm flowing like the Charles. I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles. Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock, and I'm always key, I'm ready to unlock. I be doing big things, don't even have a deal, yeah. I battle through these. Welcome back everyone to the newest edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy Janlutis and today guys, we have another great special guest. Someone I actually had the privilege of going to high school with and go to college with. And he may be younger than me, but he made such an impact on the basketball court and then has continued to do that now that he's graduated that I knew I had to get him on the show to spread this message to you guys. Guys, meet Rocky DeAndre. Rocky, thanks for being here, brother. Yeah, thanks for having me, Bill. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. Awesome. So... Rocky, you've done a whole lot on the court, and now you're kind of taking that off the court and still making such a huge impact. And so let's before we dive into some of the main stuff you're doing now, let's talk about your basketball experiences, just to warm people up for you. So high school, I had the privilege of seeing a couple of your games before I graduated. Is there one favorite memory you have from high school basketball? Favorite memory. Right? There's a lot. I know there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd probably just have to go with uh, my junior year, mm -hmm. that uh, that whole season, honestly. Okay. It was, it was just so dope to be playing with those guys. Yeah. From, you know, playing together all throughout middle school and then to come together in high school, go all the way to the state championship. Yeah. I mean, we had a special year that year. Definitely. So I would say, yeah, that was awesome. And then even just the way we ended. Yeah. Um, that last game we played my senior year. We went to triple overtime Wow! Uh, against CM, and that was probably the craziest game I've ever been in. Yeah. So uh, those between those two memories, yeah, those are what That's I remember awesome. the most. Yeah, you made a huge name for yourself. And, like, I, this is the sad thing. I didn't get a chance to watch that many of your games because I'm out of college at this point. So I'm sitting there, and I start to hear murmurs of Rocky and the name. I'm like, I gotta get him to play. And then you come to BSU, <laughs> and I'm at BSU, and, like, you're a couple years back, so I only got to catch a couple of your games then. And but let's move forward to BSU now. You made a huge impact, and your stats were a huge, huge piece right there. And I was kind of I was looking you up before the before you got here today, and I just seeing some of the uh, conference awards. You made the conference team and whatnot. So do you have a favorite memory at Bridgewater now at the college level? Uh yeah, uh, I mean I would probably say my senior year. Okay. Um, because the first three years our team was just you know we were always so good, but we were just kind of. Need that one piece. We just yeah, we just couldn't get over the hump. So like yeah. the, my fresh uh, my first year, you know, we went to the league championship and lost. Yes, sir. Sophomore year, we kinda had a little fallback of a year, but we went to the semifinals and lost. Okay. Junior year, we had the number one team in our league on the ropes, junior year in the semifinals. Would have taken us to the finals. We would have got a home championship game, but yeah. we lost because they came back. We just gotcha. fell apart again. Yeah. So my senior year, I'm like, all right, look. I'm telling everybody who's who's trying out for the team and whatnot, look, we're going to be doing it this, this, and this way. We're going to be, you know, the yeah. best team that we can be, yeah. that we can win this year. Like, this is the last possible chance. And uh, we actually, the, the preparation we took that year um, into what we did during the year and just constantly staying focused on what we had to get done. Yeah, We started the year off a little bit shaky, but then once we came back from Christmas break, it was like, a new team. And cool. That was that was cool because we ended up, you know, playing laser focused the rest of the year. We won the championship, made it to the tournament, and uh, that was the first year we won the championship. So it was yeah, it was a good way to go out. That's awesome. Yeah, phenomenal, man. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but it, with all that basketball and the experience you have, you now have switched that over to the Swish Hoop app, and that's one of the reasons I want to bring you today because you're helping so many kids with basketball technique, basketball training, and whatnot. So tell us a little about Swish Hoop. I think that's such an incredible app that you guys have out there now. Yeah, so Swish Hoop is a basketball technology startup. Uh, we're based out of Boston. And what we're doing is we're creating basketball training products for kids to obviously work on their game. Awesome. Now, um, we kind of did a little shift this year um, in terms of focusing more on providing value uh, up front. So yeah. like on our social pages, on any social page you go to, you're not just going to find you know information about Swish Hoop. You're going to find training, advice, tips, workouts, drills. Yeah. So that way, you know, you're not just getting um, 
you know, bombarded with, you know, marketing on what the yeah. product is and whatnot, but you're learning yeah. how to become a better basketball player, both through skills and through understanding how to, you know, work your mindset better. Yeah. And uh, I'm a big believer in that, you know, everything yeah. starts with the mind. So, you know, if you can, you know, as an athlete, work on your mental, then that's going to increase your potential over time. And if you can apply that into your daily work, yeah, I mean, it's the sky's the limit. For oh, you. yeah, exactly. So let's go deeper into that aspect. How do you help, you know, these young basketball players with the mind aspect? As much as you put something out there, how do you get them to kind of tweak that? Well, I, I really stress, especially the kids that I train, I stress, um, you know, what they say to themselves while they're working out. And so... Okay. One example is like, you know, if, if somebody misses a couple shots in a row and they're like, they're down on themselves, you yeah. know, pouting, I'm like, you're just wasting energy on something that you cannot go back and fix. Mm. Turn that energy and just, you're, you're better off just yeah. eliminating the negative talk. Yeah. I don't need you to, to, I don't need to be there and say, you know, talk positively to yourself because kids will be like, well, I just missed five in a row. I'm going to talk positively to myself. Yeah. So, okay. Erase the negative talk. Yeah. Keep a level mind. Yeah. And that's going to help your performance, believe it or not, because you're not putting in negative energy into what you're doing. Yeah. So um, that's definitely one way that we're kind of working on the mental uh, aspect. And that's mm -hmm. what the kids that I train. Yeah. Uh, and then in terms of like Swish Hoop and what we post, um, it's just like, you know, little things to help kids understand, um, you know, how to go about thinking of how they train. So like I just put out a post the other day that was like, uh, uh, I think it was, um, I went to the gym for like two hours today. I probably took about 200 shots today. Mm. And then, like, I put something else, and I crossed all three of those out, and I put the last one that said, I made 301 shots today. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, not only are you, you know how many, or you know exactly how much progress you made, yeah. but also the fact that you got to do one more because you got to do extra. Yeah. People that do, people that are champions and that really dominate what they do, they always do a little extra. Yeah. So those, you know, just kind of, that's how I'm kind of just putting the, the seeds out there for the kids nice. to understand how to think. That's perfect. I love that. And then the piece you said on the, the positive self-talk, like you're right, you can't be there every single moment to tell someone like, hey, you gotta think positively, you, gotta, you can't say this stuff to yourself. When I was younger, starting to play basketball and really kind of getting a groove of things, that was my biggest struggle. I would be on the driveway, I'd be on the court playing with the guys in NPC or, or the high school, whatever it is, and if I miss five shots in a row, that voice starts talking in your head, that negativity really starts going. Yep. And then when I really started to, break away from that and start to actually enjoy the moments rather than trying to like be the best one out there i started to get so much better and it's like you take the edge off yourself that tension goes away yes. but you know it's funny now that i get to help kids as well whether it's life coaching therapy mentoring whatever it is a lot of these kids working in brockton bridgewater they love basketball so that's my go-to and i get to play basketball more than i ever have because the kids want to learn so i could help them with shooting i could help them with this stuff and every single kid gets so upset at themselves. And I, I'll sit out there and shoot 300 shots with the kids, but I'm not, I'm rebounding. I'm like, hey, and if they say one word, they're like upsetting me. I have to go sit there and talk with them and, and break it down. And then they start to improve and they start to pick it up. Mm -hmm. And then they're learning that same thing that you're teaching kids of the positive self aspect, enjoying the game, having fun with it rather than being so focused on the misses. Yep. Like you just said, when you cross everything out, it's like, you know what? I made 301 shots today. That's so powerful, and yeah. for kids to grasp that, parents, if you're watching this, for kids to grasp that aspect, push that more yeah. rather than how many shots you, you missed. Like, it's incredible how far that goes. So I love the fact that Switch Hoop is pushing the value aspect. Yeah, yeah definitely. that's something right there. Very important. And then um, one thing that caught me on the app, I was saying this to Rocky before we started filming, um, you posted a video challenging kids to <laughs> the 10 minute um, dribbling skills yep. and we'll dive into it, but we'll, you know, we'll dive into it first before I say <laughs> my, what I took of that, <laughs> but um, like tell us, so you get to go overseas and help kids. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, me and Mike Swords, Mike Swords is my uh, college teammate. Mm -hmm. um, he's very big into, you know, having a community impact as well. He has his own fitness app. Yep. Um, and so we went over to Haiti back in December, right before Christmas. And, um, we were there to run a day-long clinic with uh, the kids from all around Haiti. So mm -hmm. um, the guy that brought us out there is Pierre. Pierre has a nonprofit org organization that goes out there a couple times a year, and they really do a lot for the kids in Haiti between running the camps and clinics, um, donating basketball equipment, mm. uh, 
feeding the kids, getting them transportation to the, the venue. Awesome. I mean, some of the kids get there, it takes hours to get to the gym. Yeah. And that's like, so just, it was so cool, man. Just being out there and then running the whole day long clinic with those kids. And then, you know, at the end we got to, you know, provide them meals and whatnot. And so the, when you just look at it, like the perspective side of it, and I, I'm very big on perspective, mm. um, just seeing like what it took for them to get there and then how much of an impact it made on their day. Like yeah. that was one of, that was probably one of the best days oh, of their yeah. year. Definitely. Right. And in America, you can do that. Just a simple day yeah. camp and you can go to mass premiere. Yeah. Go sign up for a camp and you have, it's not the same experience by any means, but you can go there and learn basketball for yeah. six hours. Right. Yeah. But, um, just, you know, we learned so much about perspective and that was, uh, something cool. that was very important to us. Yeah. It's cool. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. And so, Rocky just posted a video. Actually, you posted a while back, but I saw it recently of the challenge you put out to these kids. And you want to explain something about that challenge? <laughs> yeah. So um, again, this kind of goes off with um, the whole you know trying to challenge yep. players mentally. Um, the ten for thirty one campaign. Yeah. Um, and so started this at the uh, end of April, and it was basically to challenge these kids to make progress every single day. Yeah. I'm a big believer in that if you can make progress seven days a week, even if it's just a little bit yeah. on one day, whatever, you're still making progress and you're not going to cancel out what you're doing. So yeah. I hope you come in and talk about that a little yeah, bit too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I challenged them. I said, you know, I'm going to be hosting 10-minute um, ball handling workouts yeah. for 31 days straight all of May. Yeah. And um, I challenged them. I said, hey, if you want to join, just yeah. let me know. We'll get you going. So we started May 1st. Went all the way through May 31st, uh, we did, it actually turned into like 20 minute ball handling workouts, but mm -hmm. we did 31 days and, you know, I, I just was so pleased with the amount of kids that came and showed up every day. I nice. mean, my goal was one and eight kids ended up being there for all 31. So. That's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. I wanted Baraki to talk about that because when I saw that video, I took on that challenge. And so <laughs> we're in the quarantine and whatnot, so I can't really... You know, I, I can't get to the gym. I have, like, you know, baby weights and whatnot because I don't have all the equipment. And so I'm seeing Rocky put these videos out there. I'm like, I got to play basketball again. So <laughs> I, I, I broke up the Adidas and uh, my, my, some good shoes, got the ball out there. I'm in the driveway, and I'm doing Rocky's dribbling moves in my driveway. <laughs> Not Nowhere near his skill, I can guarantee you that. But it's definitely more fun than sitting around the house during this quarantine time, so I can say that. But, you know, I'm seeing all the stuff that Rocky's putting out there in – it's really impactful for someone that's just played the game before. As much as you help kids, I'm way past, like, basketball. Like, I, I can do it for fun now. I can't get into it. I'm not in a men's league or anything like that because of time-wise. But just being able to grab the ball and do what you do, it just jogs. The, it, it, one, it's a break from everything else in the yeah. world. But, two, it jogs the memory of, like, it just, you enjoy it so much. So you putting that out there is so awesome. And then what Rocky mentioned of the kind of the zeroing out factor and whatnot, which I mentioned in a video a couple weeks back, but – that's so awesome that you're trying to help these kids with do something once a day. Yeah. You know, and so the zero out factor, guys, if you haven't watched that video, basically, you know, say you set a goal for 31 days, just as Rocky did with, you know, the 10 for 31 and eventually turned into 20 for 31. But 31 days, set a goal for yourself. And every single day, you got to do something towards that goal. And that multiplies. Day one, the goal times one. The momentum starts to grow the day two times two momentum's growing day three times three momentum's growing you get to day 12 you have that momentum it's like you're consistently creating this pattern this habit in yourself to create this progress you get to day 31 what's that going to look like you take a dribbling skills what's that going to look like with dribbling skills right there where you're so much better than you were when you started but say along the line you don't go all 31 days at day 14 you take a day off you know, you go out with the boys, you know, obviously in quarantine, you treat yourself, if you're on a diet, you go have a pizza, you have, you have that grand old cheat day that you want, and then it's a little bit tougher to get the ball back up again, and you're trying to get that habit going, but the zero factor comes into play is when you take that break from whatever pattern or goal that you set for yourself, that's multiplying your momentum by zero, which anything times zero, back to zero, and so now you have to start the entire process over again. 
So what Rocky's doing with these kids is really helping them set this pattern in line. And for those, he wanted one kid. He got eight kids to do that. That's eight kids, no matter where they are in the world, that are now improving themselves probably more than just basketball. As much as you're helping them with the mind, that yeah. carries over it into every does. other aspect. Yeah. So I, I love it. I think that's phenomenal. Um, one thing I want to keep going with, Rocky, is the success aspect. And you're trying to help these kids find success in basketball. You're, the Swiss Hoop app is providing so much tech, technology, techniques, trainings to help kids find success. How are you guys as Swiss Hoop find success? So we are, I, I think, by providing the value that we have in, uh, in terms of like all these training tips, I mean, people are starting to follow us yeah. like, you know, as a you know, a, a point of authority in yep. terms of the basketball sense of training. And so when they look at us, they're, you know, now we're becoming more credible in mm -hmm. terms of a, of a company that can, or a group that can help them to become better basketball players. And so that's just off the social content we're posting alone. Mm -hmm. And then when we start to launch our products in 2020, yep. um, I think a lot of players are now going to see that, if, you know, if they apply what they're learning through social media from our, from our group to... Um, also, getting a Swiss Hoop basketball skills trainer or getting a Swiss Hoop shot monitor, that they're going to be able to kind of take both of those together and become better basketball players. Yeah. So, uh, I'm excited to see, you know, how many kids uh, are able to take what Swiss Hoop provides and become better because of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So, are you going to be one of the trainers? So like, to, is that one-on-one? -on -one? What does that look like? Are you guys, obviously, with quarantine, you can do only the virtual stuff, but... How does that look? So, yeah, I mean, I think I will, um, you know, still offer free services in terms of, like, ball handling workouts um, in, in the future. And um, But what we are is, is a basketball technology company. Yeah. So we are launching products that we're going to be selling. Gotcha. But okay. we're, you know, we're not just going to be selling you products. We want to add added value, exactly. which is the whole training aspect of it. Yeah. So... Um, we have a ton of uh, workouts in the app. Cool. So there's over 400 training drills and workouts in the app. That's and, awesome. You know, we are just trying to teach you any skill that you may have, and this is really to all the players. So yeah. not just guards, not just big men, or, or you know, forwards or whatnot. It's every player, um, and both you know people that are just starting to learn, yeah. and people who are ready to do advanced elite yeah. type stuff. Exactly. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that there's no barrier to entry for any of those kids all of them can come in and learn how to become better yeah the Swiss Hoop app. that's awesome yeah you kind of said something that kind of jogged a question in my mind when you were kind of coming up with basketball obviously you did it for high school we really i really get to catch wind of you in high school mm -hmm. what was it that sparked you to keep you pursuing that goal before because before you obviously picked the ball up way before high school to see the skill that you're at now you've been doing it for years what sparked you at such a, you're helping kids at such a young age now. What sparked you to say, like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep doing this. You're going to keep pushing for it. Now you've done that. You've grown to such a level with basketball. You're now impacting so many kids with it. But say there's a kid that comes along and he's got to want it. How do you help him kind of understand that in his head? Like, you have all this skill and everything, but you got to want it. What was, what was it that you saw in yourself that made you want it? Uh, well, I think... Any anytime somebody wants to get to become better at something, you gotta have that vision of what you want. Mm -hmm. So you gotta have some sort of direction and where you want to go. And so, what I would tell a kid, um, you know, who wants to become great at basketball is okay. Well, what does that great you look like? Yeah. Like what can what skills does that kid have? Yeah. What can that kid do on the court? What is that kid's Good. style of play? What Perfect. does that kid do in the gym? Yeah. How hard does that kid work? Does he take or does he or she take days off? Yeah. Like they have to understand the full scope of what they want to become. Yeah. Because then you just take that image and you apply it to what you do on a daily basis. Perfect. And so that's what I, you know, I, that's what I do in my life right now with everything that I do and it's it's translated just by starting off little micro habits. So yeah. like just the fact that I want to make sure that I read every day. Okay, yep. now that's actually turned into fitness. Now I'm actually working out two times a day, like I say I have, and nice. I haven't missed a workout nice. in a long time. And I track these things, and I make sure that you know that the image of what I want to be is yep. what drives me every single day. Yeah. Because if I don't do that, then I won't be that. Exactly. And so that's what I would tell a kid. I'm like, hey, look, man, 
You got to figure out what it is you want, yeah. and then you got to make actions every single day to get you closer to become that person, and yeah. then eventually you just morph into that. Exactly, so, you form into it. exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. And you know, I way this was probably like year two of once a week. I put out a video, futuristic backtracking, everything you just described. Futuristic backtracking is where you sit there and you take the time to create the person that you want to be in the future. Yeah. In doing that. You now know what that person is. You now know where you want to be. You now know the person that you want to morph into. Because of that, that person had to do things. Take a step back. All right, how do they have to get from the top of the mountain? They had to go here. Okay, back here. And you're backtracking from future to where you are now. Oh, yeah. And when you do that, you leave the roadmap to how to get back up the mountain. Mm -hmm. And so it, everything you just said is exactly what I've tried to help kids with as well. So, guys, if rewind what Rocky just said and try to do that for yourself. I think that's one of the most powerful things that you can do if you're trying to pursue a goal, if you're trying to achieve something to be a great basketball player. Like Rocky said, he's been doing more fitness. If that's a goal for you, what does that look like? Create that image for yourself. I, I love that. That's success right there on such on every level. Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got to keep learning. Yeah. It's always about learning. Exactly. Um, that's awesome, Rock. I love that. Um, you kind of mentioned this already, but where where do you want basketball to take you? Because you've done a lot. Where like you you've gone to Haiti, you've helped kids. Yeah. You know now you have the app, obviously, which is going to impact so many people. You mystified people in high school, mystified people in, in Brid at Bridgewater in college, and you know you've ha you've helped so many people. Where does that go? You and, and everything we just talked about with the map, where does that go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, um, I've i always had the desire to, or I say the dream to, you know, put up courts all around the world. Cool. And, and this is, um, you know, putting basketball courts, donating basketball equipment, getting shoes, basketballs to places where, you know, kids don't have these things. Because if they have the opportunities, I mean, think about it. There's so many kids in this world yeah. who could be the next LeBron James, could yeah. be the next Steph Curry. Yep. But because they don't have the opportunities to, you know, fulfill that dream, yeah. it'll never be, you'll never know about them. Yeah. And so I've always believed that, you know, at some point in my life, I'm going to be able to go around and put in these courts nice. all around the world and get them the equipment they need. Yeah. And then I also want to work with the best basketball players in the world. Cool. So I want to help them train. Um, and I want to be, a, you know, somebody who takes helps take, um, you know, their game to the next level. And yeah. I know it's going to start with a mental aspect. That's what mm -hmm. I, you know, that's what I do in everything I do. And um, I think I have an opportunity to do that um, in a lot of different areas. So between, you know, putting opportunities out there for kids all around the world and then also being able to work with the best yeah. uh, basketball players in the world, um, those are two, uh, that's two awesome. places I really want to get to. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Maybe the next Tim Grover. Yeah, that I love Tim Grover. I, was gonna, I want to make sure I want <laughs> to make sure you know who Tim Grover is. There's a lot of Tim Grover. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, guys, if you don't know who Tim Grover is, he's the one that trained Michael Jordan for all those championships. <laughs> the one that helped him reshape everything to play differently. And then Michael retires. He finds Kobe, and he trains Kobe. And then D Wade. Yep. D Wade, exactly. The list yeah. goes on. But Tim Grover is now someone that's it, it, he did that. If that's the person, if that's who you can morph into, that's incredible. You're obviously going to be better than him because you're following a path, but that's something. Have you read Relentless? I have. Yeah, <laughs> that's a book right there. Book, man. Guys, if you need, if, if Tim Grover, this sparked anything for Tim Grover in your head, read Relentless. That's going to teach you the mentality that Rocky has been talking about this entire video. That's awesome right yeah, there. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, Tim, Tim Grover, there's a video, I think it's like 10 minutes long. Um, it's just like a motivational video. Yeah, yeah. It's like him talking. I think he was on Impact Theory with Tom okay. you. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Dude, I, I work out to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that the that's awesome, man. Just like he's talking about, you know, it's not the things in the it's it's not the things in the mirror that you see that or whatever. It's the things that you don't see yeah. that make the biggest impact on what you do. So that's awesome. Yeah, no, it's true. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, you know, Rocky with the Swish Hoop app and everything you've done in basketball, you've created such an impact. I keep saying that in the video, but. You know, there's so much, as much as you are trying to help kids find success, there's so much success on your way, you know, and that's going to be something that I can't wait to witness. You know, you, you're helping so many kids successfully with the dribbling skills and whatnot. And that's like little pebbles along the way to where you're getting to up this mountain right now. 
and I, I can't wait to see that grow. Thank you. And you know, it, I said this to Rocky before we started, and um, you know, the the quote of that the NBA put out there every single playoff season, but started years ago. This is why we play. And you know, it, at the commercials, would always show like LeBron in the buzzer beater, or Dwayne Wade, or something like that. And this is why we play. And you know, why do you play? And we kind of just went over everything that you've impacted people with, everything you want to do. So we kind of know why you want to play. But you've done so much more than dribble a basketball. And that's something that, you know, it's obvious that quote has been in the news recently because everything going on in the world, but the, you know, you do more than dribble. You've impacted lives. You've shown so many people it. And, you know, I want to save this question for last, but with the equality in the world, and this be really being pushed, and it's sad to see where people are taking the equality, and it's sad to see that we don't even have the equality we should have throughout history. You want to speak on anything to that? I know we mentioned a little bit before the video. Yeah, but... I mean, it's not so equality, and, and, and we got to talk about the, you know, the real issue is, is racism. Mm -hmm. right? And racism is just, you know, it, it derives off ignorance. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, if you're ignorant, it's because you don't know better. And if yeah. you don't know better, you need to learn. Yeah. And so I think exactly. a lot of people uh, need to, you know, look into black history and understand why, you know, black people feel the way that they do yeah. in, in today's day and age and uh, realize that we're so, you know, tired and just stressed out about the situation because equality shouldn't be something we're still fighting for in exactly. 2020. Yeah. I mean, you know, every time, you know, black people make a push and, you know, get laws for them, you know, whether it's a Civil Rights Act or, uh, you know, even just, uh, was it Brown Red Board of Education, you know, just like, you always... We always make a step, and then there's a new way to enforce, yeah, you know, right. to keep black people at a lower, yeah. lower level. And it's, it's, you know, we're, we're not dumb. There's a, you know, a ton of. Uh, I feel like now there's more momentum yeah. more than ever. Definitely. And um, I, I just I can't stress enough to people that, you know, you need to educate yourselves more. And a, a great way to start doing that would be go on YouTube and research yeah. Jane Elliott. Yeah. Like yeah. just just go watch Jane Elliott and listen to how she describes what racism is. Yep. Yeah. And I think it'll help you to understand, it helped me to understand, like, hey, you know, like, we've been talking this way for so long, and now, now that I look at it, yeah, she's right. Yeah. You know, like, it's, there's no way, why, why do we think about it this way? There's no white race, no black race. Yeah. There's one race, it's the human race. Exactly. And uh, we, we got to understand that, but, yeah. you know, there's way more to uh, racism than just, you know, what we do on a day-to-day. -day. I mean, there's literally institutions in our country that are built yeah. Uh, to keep black people at a lower level, and, and mm -hmm. until you understand and educate yourself on that, yeah. you're just going to be pushing back on it, like, oh, that's not true. Well, yeah. why don't you go read and understand? Exactly, right? It is true, and yeah. we got to accept the problems, and then we'll be able to work on them. But until we do that as a society, we never will get to that point. Yeah. Completely agree with that. Yeah, completely agree with that. You got to learn more. You got to learn. You know, in everything yeah. we just talked about, you know, for, for trying to improve basketball skills, for that matter. You know, you mentioned such a huge point with this whole equality aspect. Go instead of like do the ten minute drill. After that, do a ten minute drill on YouTube and find one of these videos just to learn more. Well, the more you know, you understand all these different aspects. Yep. You know, everything Rocky just said is so true and so powerful. And I said it last week in the video I put out there, but it's a generational change that needs to happen. You know, this the situation's been going on since the country began. That's sad. Sad. That's incredibly sad. And then now, like you said, there's so much more momentum for it, which I love. I love the fact that this is starting to become a change. Yeah. But it, it's, it should have started generations ago. And if we don't change it now, the next couple generations are just going to follow suit. Yep. It's sad. 100%. Yeah. But no, take everything Rocky just said, guys. You got to learn more. You got to learn more, especially on everything that's going on in the world today. Like, learn more for your own benefit. You know, learn more for other people's benefits. And it's powerful. But I appreciate you saying that right at the end of this video. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. But guys, everything we went over today, the Swish Hoop app, go check it out. Like everything Rocky just said, if that wasn't a better seller point, I don't know what will be. But guys, this thing, it's, it's, if you have a kid right now that's trying to pick a basketball up, check it out. If you're someone like me that doesn't have the time to play basketball, but you still want to just improve on a hobby, check the app out. Look Rocky up on Instagram. I can, I'm going to put Rocky's Instagram at the end of this so you can go check him out. You can see his videos and that will connect you to the app if you want to do that way. But guys, there's so much out there and Rocky is on his way to so much success. And I've seen that from when he was in high school. You can see how he has been, in my perspective, guided to so much success in this rally pursuing. He's pushing so much harder now. He's using his time wisely. Take this video and use your time wisely now. 
to improve yourself in whatever way that you choose. If it's not basketball, it's not basketball. But take all this stuff on progress, all this stuff on your mindset. Something will change for you for the better if you can start doing these little steps. Rocky, thanks for being here, yeah, brother. No, yeah, awesome time. Yeah. Have a good one, guys.